Hey guys, welcome. I'm honestly very excited about this video. I'm going to talk to you about or show you this hair removal tool I bought on Amazon. It's actually a threading tool. It uses the mechanism of threading. I have been seeing so many hair removal tools on Amazon. They don't really work all the time, but this looked very promising based on reviews and all. If this is a successful tool, then you might definitely want to buy this because if you are somebody who threads at home or if you go to the salon for threading, this might be a good tool for you. But we'll know at the end of this video. Okay, so it has a thread that they give you and a powder, face powder for threading. And this looks like a hairband that you can use. Oh my god, these are all interesting. And I think this one doesn't work on battery, it's not cordless. You need to connect this into the outlet if you want to use this. That might be a little limiting, but we'll see. If you have seen my other video, I always use powder to thread. It reduces friction and cuts and also reduces sensitive skin that some people might get after threading. I also tend to get that and using a face powder really works and really helps with that. And it's so good that these guys have included a face powder with the kit. I get a lot of questions on my videos about the thread. Some people ask if they can use the normal thread that you use for stitching clothes. I wouldn't recommend that because that tends to be a very thin, skinny kind of thread that can be a little sharp and too harsh on the skin and might create a lot of friction. So I wouldn't recommend the thread that you use to stitch clothes. But this is the thread these guys gave in the kit. Hopefully it works well as well because some cheap threads tend to like break off in the middle of doing your threading and that's annoying as well. <laughs> so hopefully this works. You need to select the length of the thread. I selected double the length of my forearm. And first you hook it up to the one, the small hook in the center and then both of the ends go into the hooks on the side and then they come forward and you can tighten and loosen this and try not to make the thread really tight it, there needs to be just enough tension so it's not super tight if you make it too tight, it'll break off easily because there'll be too much tension for the thread when these prongs keep moving. Okay, so my face is nice and washed. I don't have any skincare or anything in it. It's just fresh, clean face. That's how I would like to do it because sometimes when I have products on and I do this, it causes irritation and I get these red bumps after that. So that's why I'm starting with a clean face. So I'll be using the tool to get this hair off on both sides and I might try to get some of this hair off. Um, and of course, before doing the threading, I will apply the powder that they gave. I also have baby powder with me at home, but the powder itself feels really, really soft, which is good. So I got the powder everywhere I would be threading, so it's like a road map. I won't be touching this area, it's also a little sensitive and I don't want to like mess that up. <laughs> so these are the only areas I'll be threading. I am kind of nervous because it was moving really fast when I tried it on my arm, but hopefully it's not that bad. It might hurt because it's my own fault. The length of the hair is a little bit longer than I would have wanted it to be. Shorter hairs are less painful. But anyway, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. So as always, I'll be going against the direction of the hair growth. Oh wow, this moves so fast. I wish there was a way to like control the speed. Thank you. 
It looks a little too red on the camera, but it's not that bad here. It's definitely red. That's pretty expected. But anyway, it plucked all of the hair right here. It's like feels really smooth. All good so far. So I'm going to try and get these areas too and do this part. Oh my gosh. But I might be a little nervous to get it close to my eyes because the prongs are like, like this. Ooh, let's see. Okay, I still need to get this area. I'm a little nervous because it's too close to my ears. Okay, so I'm gonna push it to the other side. Mm, definitely a little uncomfortable near the ears. Definitely a little uncomfortable to do it around here because of the hairline on my ears. But other than that, I think it got everything off really well. I mean, you can see my spots a little bit more. My skin is going through a stage right now because I tried a skincare product and it did not work out. But yeah, I still need to get this part but before that I'll apply some more powder okay so oh just in case I'll close my eyes <laughs> I feel like I can hear people shouting or yelling at me like don't get too close to your eyes I think I did not, but there I might have to get a little closer, like right here, because of the prongs. It's a little that's the only drawback because this is too long. You cannot do it in the areas like like near your eyes, but again, not everybody will probably has hair like me. Like this corner here, it's not working. See? It's like getting in the way. That area, maybe I can turn it up like that. Oh no, it's getting in my eye. I don't want to do that. I might just use a tweezer to get some of the hairs like right here. But as you saw, it was difficult. It was like hitting my eyebrow right, like right there. So that's not going to work. But this whole area feels pretty smooth. So I'm gonna try and do my forehead. It's not a lot of hair, but it's definitely there, right? Like right here. So I might try to get rid of that. Why not? It's the same story again. I just do nothing. Like literally, I just... Oh gosh, this is getting too close to my... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it just plucked my hair off here. Oh no, look at that. <laughs> That was my mistake. It's a little difficult to do this whole thing on camera. Oh my gosh. That did not go well at all. So... Yes! It plucked my hair right off here. <laughs> okay, so this is not going to work if you, you know, anybody like around the hairline. But they did pluck the rest of the hair though, like, like right here. 
Oh no, I'm not gonna try it anywhere else. I'm not really bothered about my forehead hair, it's like very sparse and it's not even properly visible. So I'm not gonna try it too much. And my upper lip area, I, right now, there's not much hair because I've already taken them off before, so I'm not gonna try it. So basically, you have seen the whole deal so far. And this side, it's too much. Everything's gonna come in my way and I think you get the idea. <laughs> It looks really good. So I'm done with my whole face, all the areas that I wanted to thread. And it works so well. I have fine hair, but it was kind of long. It still worked. And it plucked all of the hair without any issues. Pain-wise, it's actually less than what I normally feel when I thread with a regular thread without this machine or tool. But overall, it's so good. I love how quick it was and it was easy. The most important thing for me here is ease of use. Threading in general is cumbersome and I always procrastinate and try not to thread my face even though I might have to sometimes based on my mood. But this one is going to help me get it done really quickly with less effort. That's the most important thing I look for in any kind of gadget. I don't know how durable this tool is going to be because it's definitely not like a luxury product or anything. But so far, I really, really like it. What do you think? I think this has been a success. I really like this tool. I tend to use gadgets or any kind of technology that will make my life easier and I think this really works for that. I can see myself using this often every time I need to thread my face. I would totally recommend this to you if you can afford it. It's not really expensive as far as I can tell. And if you are a first time threading user or if you want to get into threading and do it on your own at home instead of going to a salon, I would definitely recommend this tool to you. But it does tend to have limitations and cons, obviously. If you need to do in areas like your eyebrows and around the hairline, I think it might be a little bit much. But if you have broader areas like your sideburns and cheeks and even the upper lip area, I think you might manage and be able to use this. It might not really work for precision work like eyebrows but I would totally recommend this if you need to do your cheeks or sideburns. I will definitely be continuing to use this and I totally recommend it. And it's available on Amazon. Hopefully this helps you. If it does, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope this helps you and I'll see you soon in my next video.